Ever hear of the term tough love? Do you know what tough love really means? Do you? This may be the most important YouTube you will ever watch or hear. Ever hear of the saying, shit or get off the pot? I want a referendum in Iraq to find out if they want us there. I totally dislike George Bush. I think he should be impeached just on border issues. But our disdain for GW should not cloud our decisions regarding Iraq. Do you want the truth? Do you really want to know if the good people of Iraq really want us there? Prove it. It's about getting to the truth about Iraq and whether or not we should be there. No American should die in another country to free them if they don't want them there. It is plain and simple. Either they want us there or they don't. If we can't get 50 plus percent of the Iraqi voters to say yes, then we leave. If the Iraqi government does not agree to hold a referendum, we leave in 90 days. If they don't hold a referendum after 90 days, after agreeing to it, we leave. If you really care about doing the right thing in Iraq, if you really, really do, then send this to others. By leaving, I mean we leave within 90 days with no foreign aid, nothing. Nada. Zip. However, if 50 plus percent of the Iraqis want us to stay, we demand that the UN get their butts back in there or we pull out of the UN. If 50 percent of the Iraqis want us to be there and help them on their journey towards a democracy, then we ask Germany, Spain, and France to help us. Once again, no American soldier should die in another country unless they want us there. Ask all the presidential candidates if they want us there, if the people of Iraq want us there. And ask them, how do they know? And ask no demand for a referendum in Iraq. Not here, but in Iraq. I have asked Senator Bob Casey, Senator Specter. I've emailed them, I've faxed them. And I've done the same with Congressman Chris Carney, Carney is the only one who had the kahanas, at least to write back and tell me that it's not our, our place to tell Iraq what to do with their government. This is BS. This is BS. We invade the country, take it over, and, and we can't ask for a referendum? Israel is part of the situation in the Middle East. We have a lot of Arabs, Muslims. They want to wipe them out. They want to destroy them. They want to destroy us. Israel's a small country. They're there. They're reality. Like it or not, they're not going to roll over and just die just because somebody wants them out of the picture. They're the size of New Jersey. They can be taken out by a, a very few nuclear devices, either or dirty bombs, break uh, delivered by uh, cars, boats, airplanes, rockets, anything. They've already gone through the Scud missile issue and uh, in the first Persian Gulf War, and they, they acted admirably. They have a formidable air force, they have nuclear capability, and they're not going to take it. If we don't get some sort of control in, in over there after dealing with Saddam Hussein, uh, Iran is, is going to be a big factor. And if they get close or the Israelis think they're going to be attacked, they're going to attack. And we're going to be talking a possible World War III. So before we just cut and run in Iraq, let's find out what the hell the people want. Do they want us there? Do they want us there? And it's important to find out if they want us there because this is serious business. I'm not the first person who thought about this referendum idea. Geraldo Rivera spoke about it a couple of months ago uh, after I had written letters about this. And I tried to get a hold of Geraldo. But he never got back to me on this. It's very hard to get a hold of Geraldo using uh, typical methods. I'm not going to get involved with the uh, topic of France. Jacques Chirac, who sold nuclear technology to Iraq in the first place and helped Saddam Hussein um, pose a threat 
And that's the reason why the Israelis had to go in there and blow up their reactor. And they're going to go back into Iran if they have to and take care of that. I love our troops. I think they are phenomenal. God bless them. They are the most amazing men and women that I've ever seen. And they, they, they parallel or they, they are comparable or better or the same as our World War II vets, Korean vets, Vietnam vets. They're amazing, amazing young men and women. But we got to do something. We got to know what the people in Iraq want. Do they want us there or not? Once again, we really have to take away our feelings about George Bush and trying to either get the other party in or whatever. This is a very serious thing, and it calls for tough love. And I mean tough love. And I mean the whole concept of shit or get off the pot. We got to know. We have to know what the Iraqis want. And there's only one way to find out, and that's to have a referendum over there and uh, make our decisions based upon that. The Internet is an amazing, an amazing thing that can be a wonderful tool for people to get the word out on various issues. I think I'm right about this. I think it's so simple. And I think that we're spending a lot of time going back and forth. I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat or pro-war or pro-peace, whatever. We're going back and forth with no real basis of, of deciding. And the decision over here is extremely, extremely important. Whatever we do is going to have serious ramifications. And I know for one thing that if we don't have the people behind us in Iraq, there is no point wasting another life over there because it's just inevitable that the whole thing is going to collapse and uh, it's going to be a mess. But there's no sense adding to uh, the casualty to the list our soldiers if, in fact, it's not sustainable, if we can't have sustained peace over there. So please send this around. Send it around to your congressman. You can fax it using faxzero.com. There's many ways. You can email them. Uh, you can call them. You can ask the politicians. You can ask the presidential candidates about having a referendum in Iraq. I don't think anybody wants to know. I think that there's big business over there, and both parties are being paid off, just like in the case of Lyndon Bird Johnson with Lady Bird Construction, which turned into Halliburton. I think that this whole country is so corrupt that perhaps there's, there's really no possibility of, of having um, um, justice prevail. But just in case there is a chance, uh, it's the people ultimately who can do it. And I think that we have to demand a referendum in Iraq because Iran is right around the corner. And unless we have a good basis um, to be there, it's going to be World War III. So God bless you all. And um, that's all I have to say from Tawanda, PA. Bye-bye.